Hello everyone, welcome to the exciting world of engineering design. I am Professor Ashokan from the Department of Engineering Design at IIT Madras. I am offering this course on uh, functional and conceptual design. This course is uh, more on the engineering aspects of the uh, products and uh, we have very less focus on uh, aesthetics or uh, ergonomics of uh, products. We will be looking at the, the functional and the conceptual aspects of uh, products and uh, how products are designed, what are the various uh, stages involved in the design of a product and what are the major engineering aspects to be understood when we go for design of a new product. So, that is the focus of this course. So, the course title is uh, functional and conceptual design. So, you may be wondering, so what actually you mean by this functional and conceptual design? So, to explain this, please look at the products that you see on the screen. You can see a, a printer there, you can uh, see a stapler and you can see a phone here and uh, a washing machine and something else. Okay. So, I will uh, tell you what it is. Most of these products are familiar to you. And if I ask you what is this product or this product, you may be having difficulty in identifying this product. Actually the product what you are seeing here, this one is the telephone that was the first telephone that was introduced long ago. And now you know there are uh, different kinds of phones and different communicating equipment av available in the market. And uh, what you are seeing here is the washing machine that was a very old washing machine. If you look at these products, you can see something interesting. This product, the phone which was introduced somewhere in the uh, early 1900s actually changed a, uh, a lot over, over a period of time. Actually its size, shape and uh, the features everything changed over a period, long period of time. Similarly. The, the washing machine, the current washing machine and the wa washing machine that you can see in the market now that also changed a lot during the last uh, 100 years. But if you look at the products what you are seeing here on the screen now, so you can see a safety pin and a nail cutter on the, on the screen. If you look at these two products, so you can see say this is the safety pin you might have used it. Uh, you may, your parents would have used it, your uh, grandparents would have used and the next generation are also going to use. Now similar is the application of this product, product also if you look at the, the nail cutter. I have seen this nail cutter for the last 50 years. Now if you look at these two products, you can see that the product has remained as this for a long time and it has not changed for the last 100 years. But the same uh, is not applicable to so many other products in the market. So, what is that makes it stable or same or not changing and what is the uh, thing which actually makes all other products change over a period of time. So, this is something which uh, a designer should understand and when you look at these products you will understand or you will uh, see something uh, very interesting. That is the, the function of the phone, what you are having this phone or the current generation phone or this phone, the, the first phone, the function was the same of communication. But the, the shape, size and everything changed over a period of time. So, we can see that the function of the product remained the same and its form kept on changing. In the case of uh, this product, the safety uh, pin also, the function remains same. The, this is having the same function 100 years ago and uh, now also it is having the same function. And it is having the same form also, it did not change its form. So, the question is why we are not able to change something and why something keeps on changing. So, what is that actually matters in the, the design of products? And if you look at this, you will see that the function and form are the two important aspects of any product. The function of the product remains same, but the form keeps on changing because we get new concepts, new ideas, new technologies to get the same function. So, this course is actually trying to understand what are the, the functional and conceptual aspects of product design and how we can actually look at the functional aspect of the design or analyze the functions of the product and then see what new concepts can be developed in order to satisfy the product function. 
So, the functional and conceptual design basically looks at the engineering aspects of the function of a product and how new concepts can be developed in order to meet these functions. Contents of this uh, uh, course are listed here. So, we will start with a very uh, brief overview of the design process and then we go into the, the steps in the design process basically understanding the opportunity as the first stage in product development and then we look at the customer need identification, how do we identify the needs of the customer and on, once you identify the customer's need, how do we convert that into product specifications and uh, how do we analyze the product specification by benchmarking with uh, existing products and how do we use the tools like uh, QFD and house of quality to identify the product specification and then we go into the functional design. How do we convert the design specifications to functional blocks in the products or how do we identify all the required functions in the product and then we move to the uh, conceptual development where we try to develop the product architecture based on the customer's uh, requirements. We look at the portfolio uh, uh, architecture, we look at the individual architecture, we identify various types of architecture like modular architecture, integral architecture, etc. And then we move to the, the, the stage of developing concepts to meet the expectations of the customer as well as to satisfy the function which is the concept development. And as we develop concepts, we need to have some methodology to choose the best concept out of a uh, uh, few number of good concepts that is basically the concept selection uh, procedure. Uh, we will be having uh, every week one laboratory session and again it is an experimental uh, method we are trying to do. So, we will be opening up products. So, we'll, every week we will open up a new product and try to understand the, the number of parts in the product, the functions of the, pro, uh, the parts and how they are the product architecture is developed and then whatever we are learning in the class, we will try to implement it in the laboratory sessions. So, that is going to be the uh, way the, this course is uh, going to be offered uh, online. I hope you will enjoy this course. Happy learning. Thank you very much.